everybody for for being here today. I appreciate your support of the conference and, and everything else. That uh, obviously, like everybody else up here, everybody's excited. It's that time of year to we're kind of ready to quit doing all the administrative stuff and, and get on to actually coaching football and, and getting out there hopefully in a week with our guys. Um, I, I was fortunate enough to take over the program from Adam Howard here, who I kind of started that program with six years ago. I'm a Cleveland guy, so it's kind of a no better opportunity than to, to be a head coach of something you always wanted to do in your in your hometown there. But um, with that, I, I think the biggest thing, or I know that something's probably a little different than Tyler down at Urbana and that type of stuff, is that the consistency, consistency that we've had at Notre Dame, um, I think that with me taking over and, and that type of stuff is really making it seamless as, as it happened a little bit late. But um, from a football standpoint, uh, Offensively, we've had a lot of success. Um, have kind of continued to build our offense as we've grown the program. Um, we've lost some really good players last year. Uh, as was mentioned, Ray Russ, who's our quarterback. Um, you don't replace guys like that. It's kind of we're going to plug these new guys in and figure out how, how they fit in together and, and what our identity is really going to be and what we have to do to win football games. Um, from a quarterback standpoint, we do have good depth um, at that position. Um, Great competition that we expect to continue through camp here. Uh, Malik Grove, Ryan Fallon, um, those are some young guys that, that are really, I think, ready to step up to the challenge uh, and kind of make the most of it. Uh, from a running back standpoint, I think if you were a running back in our program last year, you were probably hurt. But we, we went through about every single guy that we had and, and tried, to, tried to make it work. Um, this year, obviously, I think we're back to being a little bit more healthy with some of those older guys. Uh, Alex Torgerson, Dr. Spurl, um, those guys are a little bit more veteran uh, type guys that I think can help us out, but we're really excited about the young guys we're bringing in. Um, some great competition that I think will provide a lot of depth at that position for our offense. From an offensive line standpoint, um, we have a really good core group of guys. Our biggest problem there, and those are the hard guys to find, that everybody's beating down the door on the recruiting trail trying to get those those big bodies that, that everybody wants. Um, we have to continue to develop the guys that we have and just continue to build more depth at that position. But we got a good core with Mike Koch, um, who will be a returning starter for us. Jeremy Glass, who, who's been playing for us now for a couple years, will be a senior. So we have a good, I think, core group of guys to continue to build on that side of the ball and, and help the, the young ones figure it out. Wide receiver is probably our big, deepest position. Um, as was mentioned, Mitch Shigos, he'll be back again for us. Had, had a fantastic year last year. He's, he's here with us today. Um, but th that's a room where our coaches have done a great job on offense of, of making a lot of competition in that room. And those guys push each other. Uh, besides Mitch, you have CJ Germany, BJ Baldwin, uh, Kyle Perkins. All those guys are back. So I think that's something that we're going to have to rely heavily on to kind of just that leadership alone to get us where we need to be as we break in a new quarterback and everything else. From a defensive standpoint, I think it's, it's an exciting time for those guys. This is a group of guys that have been playing together for, for a long time now, kind of growing up in the program. Um, I think our coaches have done a fantastic job throughout the spring, kind of leading that group and, and getting them going. Um, D-line, Derek Babel. Jalen Vent, Claudia Matthew, they're coming on. From a linebacker standpoint, we were a little bit banged up last year. I think it's something that we need to grow a little bit more with and continue to improve. And then from a defensive back standpoint, it's another position that we have to add some more stability and continue to get going a little bit more. Uh, Onslow Williams, he's here with us today doing a great job, kind of continuing to lead the program and get going. But all in all, we're excited to start uh, the conference season, kind of get going a little bit on that first Thursday night.